equivalent rational expression. I am Anil Kumar and we will understand how to write an equivalent rational expression. Here we need to write an equivalent expression to x minus 2 divided by x with a denominator of we are given four different denominators. Now writing equivalent expressions is very important for adding and subtracting rational expressions. That's the whole idea. So in the first example what we have to do is we have to write an expression which is equivalent to x minus 2. Let me write down x minus 2 over x but we need denominator of 5x square with denominator of 5x square. But we have denominator of only x. How can I make equivalent expression with denominator of 5x square? That is the question to be answered. Well to get 5x square in the denominator I should multiply the denominator by 5x, right? If I multiply denominator by 5x, I am going to change the denominator. But we need equivalent expression, correct? That means I should also multiply numerator by 5x. So that's the whole idea. Multiplying by 5x over 5x. This is as good as multiplying by 1. And therefore, the expression is equivalent to the given expression. So if we do that, what do we get? We get in the numerator, 5x times x minus 2 and in the denominator we get 5x square. That is what was needed, correct? So that is how we write equivalent rational expressions with any given denominator, right? So let's try part B. Here again we'll start with x minus 2 over x. What we need is 3x square y in the denominator. We already have just x here. So we need to multiply this by 3xy. Numerator should also be multiplied by the same monomial 3xy. So what do we get after multiplying? We get 3xy times x minus 2 divided by 3x square y. So that is how these questions should be done. Let's do the next one. Here again x minus 2 over x we need to multiply by, we already have x in the denominator, we also need x plus 2. So we'll multiply and divide by x plus 2. Thereby, we'll get the required result, which is x minus 2 times x plus 2 divided by x times x plus 2. You got it. The last one is for you to practice. You need a denominator of 3x squared times x minus 1 and you have to write an equivalent expression to x minus 2 divided by x. I hope you should get it. Thank you and all the best.